The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Okay, greetings people. Yeah, I know. Two videos, two days in a row. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little rundown of how I'm building these tower racks. You would not believe how many times people ask me how to install them, and I wouldn't think that it would be that hard. Since it's just a matter of hanging something, feeding water to it, and catching the water as it comes out the bottom to return it. But, I'll do a basic rundown of how things are going to go. I have to run into town and get uh, my steel conduit to do the uprights, but it, at least I will show this part. The base is made out of 2x6 red cedar. You don't have to use that, seeing that uh, 12 foot 2x6 red cedar board is about $25, and a pressure treated one is less than half of that. So if you want to use pressure treated, that's just fine as well. The only reason I'm using it is because it is left over from uh, that pergola slash shelter that I built over the pond. I don't know. Guy talked me into getting those and found out we didn't need them. But I found a use for them anyway. At any rate, uh, the racks, the bases on these racks are only five feet square. So that board right there, that one's five feet, 60 inches long, whatever. And I'm not doing any fancy cuts because I know there are a lot of people who don't seem to have the skills or tools to put 45 degree angles on everything. So I'm just going to do it with simple um, butt ended cuts. So the one on this side, that's 60 inches. These here are 57 inches and that's because a two by six is actually one and a half inches thick. So you make a square base, it doesn't have to be perfectly square at the beginning, you'll end up squaring that up later. These metal things that you see in here, you can get these from Amazon or umpteen other places. Uh, they're commonly used at exhibitions when people want to put up a tent or just anything that requires a steel frame at an exhibition hall. Um, I'm using connectors for uh, one inch electrical conduit and the way these work you'll see that I'm building this upside down but these are going to go in the corner like that on all four corners and I have marks here and here I measured that that's four inches so I need to put a brace across there which does require 45 degree angle cuts on each end, but you need that in there to sturdy up the corners. But these are basically gonna go there like that, and they're gonna be screwed into the wood. And this one right here will be screwed into the 45 degree uh, board that's in there. Um, then there are these, after the conduit goes in these things and comes up five feet, these go across the top. So the pipes go up and connect left to right on the front and the back. And then the conduit that the towers hang on, there's a train, goes right here. You know, there's gonna be four of them across. So all of the towers are gonna be 16 inches apart. And that should give all of the plants plenty of room to grow without crowding each other. So before the train gets really loud here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and I will come back with another video after I've got things put together, flipped over, and the conduit installed. So that's all. Take it easy. Bye.